Uh, hi guys, welcome back to the tutorial series on WebTime Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover data reference variables. Data reference variables are kind of variables in a CP app uh, that can be used to store the addresses of other data object data objects. So, to define reference variables, data reference variables, we use the data keyword and also use type ref2 uh, and then uh, the data element. Right. So here I've declared uh, one data reference variables and two normal variables. I've assigned number two to the first variable lv underscore where one and to get the address of that lv underscore where one we have to use get reference of keyword. So that will uh, get you the address of lv underscore where one and you can store that in lr underscore where one. So as I defined lr underscore where one type ref to integer it can only store the addresses of variables which are again uh, of type integer okay. and how do we see the actual value present in that address is we have to SAP gives an operator called dereferencing operator so this uh, you use the reference variable and use the dereferencing operator along with it that will get you the actual value stored in that address so I'm taking that into a different uh, variable here and then here I'm trying to print the value so we can do that in two ways as we have the value in LV underscore VR2 I can directly use that in the right statement or I can use the data reference variable along with the dereferencing operator and then print the value both uh, statements are exactly the same they'll give you the same result so it should give 2 and 2 so let's see okay so we have 2 and 2 Good. So that's how uh, data reference variables work. And uh, as you have seen with field symbols, um, you know, using uh, the generic data type declaration, uh, we have the same concept in data reference variables as well. We can use type ref to a data. You don't have to specify, you know, either integer or character or some structure or the table. You don't have to do that. You can just say data, and that can hold the addresses of any kind of data objects that you want. So here I've taken again uh, LV underscore where one which points to 3 and uh, I know that it, it is an integer data type. So what I will do in order to hold the address of this variable I need a data reference variable which is of type i. right? So I'm, I'm going to use create data statements. What does it do is basically it uh, it's as good as uh, you know me writing a data statement with like okay lv underscore int type i right in a design type so it's as good as uh, you know creating uh, declaring a variable with data statement so but but we're doing that explicitly using the create data statement here so create data lr underscore new type i so i've created a data object which is of type integer now i can hold the addresses of integer uh, data object so I'm using the get reference of lv underscore where one into lr underscore new. Okay, now I can, uh, you know, I can store uh, the address of lv underscore where one into lr underscore new one. Okay, that's good. And to make sure that you know this statement um, has resulted in a successful uh, assignment, I have to check using the keyword here is bound. And you know again. Um, going back to the field symbols tutorial we have a similar uh, if statement there if field symbol is assigned right so we have to do that otherwise um, you know in case if the reference variable is not assigned and you're trying to access dereference it then you'll get dumps so to avoid that we have to always check if it is successfully assigned okay so i'm doing that here using the if statement and let me see if i can get the actual value present in that address so the same thing as I've done earlier um, I'm using the dereferencing operator with the reference variable and I'm taking it to another variable and also I've used that in the right statement so let's see I'll do a syntax check okay so I got a syntax error which says you cannot dereference a generic reference in the current statement okay so there's a restriction from SAP saying that when you define uh, a data reference variable which refers to a generic data type 
you cannot uh, dereference that to a normal variable or you cannot use that in the right statement just like that okay okay so then how do I then what's the use of you know the status variable if you cannot access the actual value present there okay so SAP gives uh, you know an option you can use field symbols okay so whenever you use uh, a generic data reference variables and if you want to dereference that data reference variable you have to dereference it to a field symbol first and then use that field symbol in, you know, in further coding so I've defined a field symbol again this is a generic field symbol so it doesn't uh, refer to any specific data type right? it, it just type any so I'm using SN statement and the dereferencing the data reference variable into that field symbol and I'm going to write the field symbol using the right statement okay let me comment out uh, this and this as well okay cool so here um, I'm creating a data object of type i and then getting the address of the variable into that and then using the assign statement to dereference that uh, data reference variable into a field symbol and I'm using that field symbol uh, in the right statement so essentially uh, what should I see I should see three on the screen so let's see okay so, I have a three. so that's how you define uh, create data objects explicitly in the code okay, good but this works uh, when you know that you know the variables that you're going to work with or integers or if you know the specific data type of the variables that you're going to work with but in some cases we um, you know we will not be so lucky we don't know at design time what kind of uh, data objects that um, you know we will, we will work with so in those cases we have to have some mechanism where we can create the data objects dynamically you know so that's uh, that's what uh, I've written here I've written a you know, small piece of code to demonstrate that okay um, so the purpose of this code is basically you you know I've created a parameter with cat 20 here you can enter any table name in the system any table uh, that is present in the system and I'm going to extract some 10 entries from the table and then display it on the screen so I will do that um, okay so I've created um, a data object it's already a data reference variable which refers to a generic data and then I have a parameter here and then I have two field symbols one is type any table and one is type any uh, okay and what I'm doing here is I'm going to create data and then data reference variable so here if you see here the difference is I've used type i here because I know I'm going to work with uh, integer variables but here I don't know but I know that I'm going to work with some tables but I don't know exactly what table it is what kind of structure the table has so I'm just going to create data uh, underscore table type table of whatever the table that you enter in the parameter so it's as good as you know writing a statement which says okay lt underscore tab type table sorry <laughs> type table of p underscore tab you know so the create data statement actually creates data objects in the runtime okay so I've created a data object uh, with type table of p underscore tab good then because again uh, the lr underscore table is a generic data reference variable so I cannot dereference it to uh, you know any of the normal variables so I have to dereference it to a field symbol good now I'm going to use a select statement again it's a dynamic select so I don't know what table I'm going to work with at the design time so I'm just going to put that p underscore tab in brackets and say into table and the table field symbol up to 10 rows okay now I'm going to print it and I have to write a loop statement but I don't know the work area right so what type of work area so that's why I defined uh, fs line one type any it can point to any kind of uh, structure so I'm going to loop at fs underscore table one assigning fs line one I'm going to print at fs line one here okay uh, so let's uh, you know uh, let's see an example first and then uh, we'll come back to the code again okay let me activate this okay I'll enter Y movie here. Good. I see some entries. 
okay let's see now what happened uh, I've entered y movie in p underscore tab right okay I go back to the code so now p underscore tab is nothing but y movie okay so what happens is wherever p underscore tab is there I'm going to replace that with y movie so I want to create a data object which is a type table of y movie just fine then I'm going to select something from y movie into table field symbol is then again a table so which is also fine okay now fs line one is a generic data type so fs table is any table so it can hold the data of any table it can hold a uh, data of any line so this has no issues so we're going to loop it and then print the field symbol here so that's how it works i mean i can as well um, you know use um, any table in p underscore tab right for example if i uh, instead of y movie i use let's say adrc okay it's address table so i get some entries or i can use user01 user data i get this test so so it's so the thing here is um, you know uh, i don't know what kind of table what kind of structure i'm going to work at design time so i'm uh, i will only know that at the runtime but still uh, i can write the code to print the data from that table so i have not used the table name anywhere in this code so it's all dynamic so we can uh, do that dynamic uh, you know um, dynamic thing with data objects and then finally uh, how do we access components of structure using data reference variables uh, again going back to the field symbols tutorial uh, if you remember we have used uh, assign component and then component name or the position of the field in the structure to access uh, the value stored uh, at the particular field in the structure and we can do the same thing with data reference variables so here I've declared a data reference variable which refers to a Y movie and I'm just I've written as simple select to get a single entry from the Y movie table into this work area and I'm getting the address of that work area into the reference variable and I'm going to use write statement to access the values present in the work area right. um, so the difference that uh, you have to observe here is if you use a normal work areas right uh, we use hyphen symbol here but when you're working with the reference variables the reference variables you have to use arrow mark to access the individual components that's the only difference okay so um, that's all for the data reference variables tutorial uh, next tutorial I'm going to cover casting in Apoops uh, very important um, concept in Apoops um, so see you guys in the next video bye bye